Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I'm happy to have you here. So for today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys some outfits that I would wear if the world was open and ready for me to just live my life in the summer. I've seen a lot of people do this trend, but it's always good to see people's take on different events and what they would wear. I put together, I think there's eight outfits uh, for you guys to see what I would wear this summer. And let's just get right on into those outfits. Hello and welcome to outfit number one. So this is what I would wear to like a picnic. So many people have been going on picnics so I figured I had to include this one. I'm just wearing this cute little floral dress from Princess Polly. I think a dress is perfect and girly for a picnic. I paired it with some high socks and shoes but you could totally do it with sandals. I just like the look of shoes in this dress. I added a cardigan just in case I get cold and then just paired it with a tote bag to hold all my snacks, you know? Okay, so outfit number two is for something that I would wear to a backyard barbecue, which is something that my family and friends love to do when the world was opened up. So it's pretty casual, so just some denim shorts, a cute little crop top from Aritzia, and then I added the button up in case it gets cold at night or if you just want to keep it a little bit more, I guess, quote unquote appropriate. Any shoes will do, but I decided with some sandals for this outfit. Okay, so we love a good date night outfit. I wanted to make this one simple and girly, um, so I figured the pink pants would definitely add some girliness to the outfit, and I've been loving this crop top that I got from Zara. And I figured since we were covered up on the bottom, I wanted to show a little bit more skin up top. That's why I paired it with this tank top. And just a little purse from Nasty Gal and some heels to give myself some height and to make my legs look longer. <music> Something I miss so much about normal life is being able to go to brunch, so this outfit was really fun to put together. I wanted it to be super light and summery, so I decided to wear my effortless shorts from Aritzia, the same crop top I was wearing previously, and I've seen a lot of people tie cardigans or sweaters around their chest, but it's definitely more than just for style. In this case, if you get cold in the restaurant or if you're on a patio and you just want to cover up your arms a little, then this is definitely the perfect cardigan to do that with. Um, and then I added the heels because the shorts aren't as short on me as they would be on somebody else so I figured it'd make my legs look longer. <laughs> Okay, so this is an outfit I'm manifesting real hard that I get to wear because I miss traveling so much. But my thought process behind this outfit is you can't go wrong with a sweatsuit because you still look cute, but you're so comfy. Um, I have this sweatsuit in white right now and then the sweater in the Heather Oatmeal. Um, I always bring an extra sweater in case it gets cold, especially on the airplane. I find I get a little bit chilly. And then I wore my Air Forces with some high socks because it's a little bit comfier than wearing like flip-flops and we love a big bag to stuff all the stuff we don't need in there um, but this outfit is so easy and just so self-explanatory Going out for drinks is definitely something I haven't done since like 2019, um, but clearly my bag doesn't want to be on my shoulder, but that's okay, whatever, we don't need her, just kidding. <laughs> um, so I decided to go with an all black outfit because it makes me feel a lot more confident, especially when I go out at night, I don't know, there's just something about an all black outfit. To add some color and dimension, I did add this satin button up from Aritzia, I kind of just feel like it kept it dressy but still very functional, so I just put it over my shoulders to show that you could wear it for if you get cold or anything like that and then just a small purse because I wouldn't be bringing too much with me anyways. <music> Ok, 
Okay, so we're going out for my favorite thing, coffee. Uh, this outfit is very comfortable and also very cute. So these pants are from Zara. They are super light and stretchy. And then I'm actually just wearing a contour bodysuit from Maritzia. So this outfit in general is just very forgiving, very stretchy and light. So then I threw on this button up because I figured if you're going in the morning, you probably have a little bit of that chilly breeze, but maybe not because sometimes it gets really hot and you don't need that so you can obviously take it off uh, i also paired it with some flat sandals because it's just a coffee run but we still want to look a little bit cute in case we run into anybody we know <laughs> Dressing for a day downtown is always such a battle because you want to look cute because everybody is usually dressed up But you also want to be comfortable because you know, it's going to be a long day So I figured I would just find a little bit of an in-between So I wore these ripped jeans from Abercrombie and then this basic white tee from Aritzia I accessorized to help add some flair to the outfit with my bucket hat to protect me from the sun rays to keep me looking young dancing to keep me looking young and then just the um crossbody bag because i like to keep my belongings pretty close to me when i'm downtown <laughs> Last but not least, summer isn't summer if we don't go and have some day drinks with our friends. So here is the iconic rainbow dress from Princess Polly. And I was wondering if somebody called my name. Um, I love this dress and it's super cute and flirty. So I put it with these heels. I added the button up in case you're not very comfortable showing your back because it is a backless dress. It is a halter top. It's a little bit low, but I don't really have girls. So, you know, it's not really that interesting on me uh, just a little bag because again going downtown i shouldn't bring too much up and that's me trying to figure out what the heck to do with my face and stuff but i love this outfit super cute and girly okay that is it for today's video i hope you liked some of those outfits let me know down below which outfits you liked also let me know other outfit ideas or like outfit occasions that you want me to style or different videos you want to see from me because i have so many clothes and i just want to style them for people i had so much fun putting everything together styling is my jam so that was really fun for me but yeah if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and also follow me on Instagram because I am a lot more active there than I am here and sometimes my outfits get posted there before they ever get shown on my channel so for more fashion inspo definitely follow me there and yeah like this video subscribe comment and I will see you in the next one bye